Oh itu school. Bye Cik. Ame. Ame. What about breakfast? Hello sayang. Morning. Eh hey, sayang, why so early? Uh, I got up early to make breakfast for Ame, but he ran off. Oh. It's good that he doesn't want to be late for his first day of school. Yeah, I know. But I wanted to go with him. <sighs> yeah, you will cram his style. Hmm? Cram his style? Hmm. Isn't that what young people say? <laughs> hey, I'm very cool, okay? I don't cram anybody. Yeah? <laughs> no, like, sayang. I just want to make sure that he's okay. He will be fine, sayang. Don't worry. I thought I already finished with all this worrying about school, you know, when Lina and Dia grew. But now it's starting all over again. Well, you are still young and cool. You can take it. Eh? <laughs> very funny, huh? Ah, very funny. <laughs> I can't believe this Mr. Chia is still causing so much trouble. He lost his wife so suddenly. I can imagine how it must be like for him. Still, there's no reason for him to go around causing ruckus. Yeah, but what if he continues to create trouble for you? Better tell the police before things get out of hand. No, no. I don't want to get the police involved. It might make things worse. If only I can reach out to him, we can sort things out. Hey, are you lost? No, of course not. Well, I am. Can you show me how to get to Tanglin High? Um, you walk straight there. You turn left. You turn right. Somewhere there lah. Uh, I'm confused. Maybe I can follow you? Um, actually, I'm skipping us today. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. If you're lost, why can't you just admit that you're lost? I'm Joy. Come on, I'll show you how to get to school. <laughs> Forget it. Hey! Where are you going? Are you actually skipping school? Better. I'm going to work now, so I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Hey, baby Gracie, see you later. For you? Thanks. So, how's everything? Yeah. Um, yoga classes going well? Yeah, it's good. A lot of people keep signing up, so I'm thinking about scheduling more classes. That's great. Mm. Are you thinking about signing up for a class? Or do you want to ask me about Gina? How's she been? She's good. Is she really dating someone from your yoga class? Uh, well, I know that she went out with somebody just one time after class, and that's all I know. Well, if she's found someone, I'm happy for her. Are you? Knowing that she's moved on, I think I should move on too. Huh. Well, good for you. Good morning, Rachel. Rachel? What's wrong? Dr. B. Mr. Chia was handing these out to the patients outside. Even then. 
have to be. This is getting out of hand. You need to do something. Call the police. Hello, Dr. Baskar here. What do you want? Miss Chia, your father has to stop harassing me, my patients and my staff. Now he's going around distributing flyers, calling me a quack doctor. Can you blame him? Miss Chia, if your father continues to do this, I would have no choice but to report him to the authorities. Tell him to stop or he would have trouble with the law. I'll talk to him. Yeah. Honey lemon? Mm-hmm. Careful it's hot. You should be drinking lots and resting lots. Resting lots and drinking lots. Thank you. Hey Ma. Hi. What do you have there? I made Vanessa some soup. Thanks, Auntie Lian. I'll drink it later after I'm done with the honey lemon that Ben made me. Sure. Come Ooh. On. And I've been drinking lots. I need to go and pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> Ma, I've been thinking about what you said last night. About how lost you felt when you found out that you were pregnant and that Dr. Basker had left you. I don't want Grace or Vanessa to go through that. I'm asking Vanessa to marry me. You have thought this through. It's the best way to protect Grace. Son, marriage is a lifetime commitment. You need to be absolutely sure. But it's the right thing to do, right? Only you can answer that. Then it's what I want to do. Well, if you are sure, you have my full support. Thanks, man. Okay. Yeah. Ah, this one, this one. Why so far? Do it. Wow! Oh. Ow! 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 Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh. <laughs> I can't poop back already. Pa, you're home. If I knew you would be so noisy, I would have gone out. Uh, Uncle Gong san. Hmm, I know. Oh, eh, it's the first time your father ever called me by name. Chung Kai, have you had enough praying around? What do you mean, Pa? We need to finish up our business plan for the presentation. And that's my cue to go. Um, okay, um, I'm gonna make a move first, so I'll come in and play later, okay? Bye, Uncle san. Hmm. Sayang? Eh, hello, Sayang. Um, your nephew, Amir, what time does he finish school? Not so soon. Maybe in an hour? Hmm. But he's here now. What? He didn't go to school? Okay, I'm going over there now. Okay, see you soon, Sayang. Hi, Dr. Baskin. Oh. Hi, Ben. Um, you feeling better? Uh, yeah, feeling much better. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, coffee? Um, no. Uh, uh, I came here to pass this medication to Vanessa. Uh, she forgot to pick it up when she came to see me yesterday. Okay, uh, she's upstairs. Yeah, uh, I'll go pass it to her then. Yeah. Vanessa. Dr. Baska. 
Sorry to come unannounced, Vanessa, but I think we need to talk. Please come in. Vanessa, as a doctor, I can't tell anyone what you shared with me yesterday because of doctor-patient confidentiality. But as a family friend, I think you should tell Ben the truth. Tell Ben? I, ben would hate me. I can't tell him. The whole family would hate me. I, I can't. Vanessa, you have to. No, but Dr. Baska, I really, really thought that Grace was Ben's baby. I didn't mean to lie to them. And now, I can't manage without Ben or Auntie Lien or even Akong. They're family to me now. They're all I have. Vanessa, you can't hide this from them forever. I know. But it can stay hidden for now. And maybe by the time it comes out, I'll know what to do. Yeah, but I still think it's better to face the music now than to wait for them to find out. Think how devastating it would be. Especially for Ben. Jinkai, you take them to the concept, the marketing, and I will take them to the financial part. Are you paying attention? I, I, I was just checking in on Diana to see if she's okay. Why is she not okay? Well, you weren't exactly nice to her. I said hello to her. What? Well, actually, you didn't. You just said Diana. What's the okay. difference? See, Ba, she's upset. Jing Tai, this is more important. Why are you worried over this small matter? Why are you here instead of being in school? I was late. Late? But you left early. What's the point? I'll get punished for being late. Did you get lost? No. Why didn't you let me take you? I'm stupid, okay? You are not stupid. Come, let's go. Go where? To school, of course. To see your teacher. And apologize for today so that you can go to school tomorrow onwards. I don't want to go to school. You have to. Come. Can you fix an appointment for Mr. Kang with the urologist? Right away, Dr. B. Yeah, you have a seat. <laughs> Dr. Baska! Mr. Chia? You think if you complain to my daughter, I'll be scared and stop? Mr. Chia, please calm down. You want to threaten me? You face me. I... Don't go behind my back and frighten my daughter. Mr. Chia, I'm not threatening you. I just don't want any trouble here. Oh, here. <laughs> here. This is where he killed my wife! Enough, Mr. Chia! The medical authorities have finished their investigation and I've been cleared of any wrongdoing. Don't go around spreading your wild accusations. My wife is dead! I know! I know. I know you have suffered a great loss and I know the pain that you must go through. Okay? Oh, really? How do you know? Is your wife dead too? Pretty. You serious, huh? Yeah, he actually ran out to buy this. Yeah. Why wouldn't he? So, have you thought about how you're going to propose? Uh, but, but, but. Have you thought about whether you should propose? Yeah, go, you know, Vanessa. I know. That's why I need to do this. Vanessa's a lucky girl. Good for you. Thanks, guys. 
So when are you gonna propose? There's just one thing I need to do first. And these are our direct competitors? Yeah. I've got a list of their profiles here. Okay. Good. <laughs> ah, hmm? um, why don't you like Diana? The way you talk to her is different. I talk to her the same way I talk to everyone. Ba, you're much nicer to Sheila. I know there's been a lot of misunderstandings and problems between you and the Tongs, but Diana is important to me, so please give her a chance. Hmm. I was surprised that you wanted to meet. Oh yeah, I needed to tell you something. Sure you're not here to spy on me and check if I'm flirting with the cute guys inside? It's none of my business. I mean, we are no longer together anymore, right? Anyway, I wanted to tell you this. I'm asking Vanessa to marry me. We have a daughter together. And Grace needs both her parents with her. I need to do the right thing. Okay. Good luck. Um, all the best. And all that sort of thing. Put your head on my shoulder Lean a little longer Put your head on my shoulder Did Mr. Chair cause you any trouble? What did he do this time? No, I... I tried to get through to him through his daughter But I guess I pushed him even more Did he hurt you? What did he do? No, no, no <laughs> He just wants to be heard He's not dangerous. How can he be sure about that? Mira, I'm starving. Can we eat? I'll go and check on Atika. Hey, Vanessa. Hey. So, how is Grace? Uh, she's sleeping. Is her cough better? Better. We need to talk. You go first. No, you you go first. We've known each other for a long time. Uh, we've broken up, got back together and broken up again, and got back together many times. And now, we have Grace. Vanessa, will you marry me? Do you need more time? Yes. Yes, you need more time. Yes, I'll marry you. Propose to Vanessa by now? I guess so. Do you think she'll say yes? Why wouldn't she? She's got no job, no home, and a baby. She'd be crazy to say no. Hey, but then again, Vanessa's crazy. Who knows what she'll say or do? You know, if the wedding really happens, I should really help them to plan it. I mean. Uh, hi, Gina. Oh, Gina, I didn't see you there. I didn't. Don't have to panic. Ben told me. Okay, uh, I'll leave you two girls to talk. Are you okay? What can I do? 
He's made up his mind. I don't expect him to give up his daughter, right? Mm. Um, so, how's the yoga guy? Rick? Mm. He's a really nice guy. But he's, um... He's not Ben. Mm. Moving on is harder than I thought. Did you tell Ben? I can't. I can't say anything. Not if he knows what he needs to do. I can't do that to him. This is so beautiful, Ben. I hope you didn't spend too much on it. You only get married once, right? But are you sure about this? I need you to be sure, Ben. Of course. You, me and Grace, one family. One family? I like the sound of that. Me too. But you need to be sure. I don't think I could take it if you suddenly changed your mind and decided you wanted out later. I won't. This is for life. I know. Grace is my daughter for life. Yes, she is. Promise me that you'll never change your mind. You'll never back out and you'll never leave us. I promise. I'm in. Every step of the way. All the way. <laughs> the wind blows through the trees Just the same I think I left my math textbook at school. Can you just get it tomorrow? But I did it for my assignment. It's due tomorrow. Oh, you really have lousy luck. Huh? Late for school yesterday and tomorrow you're gonna be punished. <laughs> Bang, don't say things like that, Ken. I'm kidding lah. Hey, for a kid lah, you're quite serious, you know. Can you just explain it to your teacher? Mrs. Tung. Alamak. You got Mrs. Sally Tung. Scary Sally is your math teacher. She used to teach me math. She's still teaching, ah? Yeah. Die.